the old seawall in Hartlepool. Battered by the waves, just like the town it protects along England's eastern coastline, feels battered by the march of time. A place where in winter, the middle of the day can feel just like the end of it. Somewhere on the other side of the swells lies Denmark and the rest of the continent, unseen and receding ever further in the minds of the men who fish here. I feel angry at the EU, the people that are, are running it and telling us what we have to do. And most of it is to suit them. Nearly 70% of people here voted to leave the European Union back in 2016. For many, the fact that Britain still hasn't left is a slap. And they want this election to correct it. For Ronnie Horn, that means backing Boris Johnson. I don't really want to vote for Conservative, but there's no way on this earth I'll vote for Labour. Labour candidate Mike Hill is knocking on doors in a riding they've held for over half a century, behind the so-called Red Wall, working-class Labour heartland. Well, consider it then, because I, I, I always speak up for the people of the town. He should feel safe, but the relationship has frayed over Brexit. It's a yes. And pro-leave parties see his seat as vulnerable Hi, Nicola, nice to meet you. because of Labour's pledge to put a new Brexit deal to another referendum. We understand that the people are frustrated about Brexit, but they've also got to remember that Hartlepool is in the situation it's in because of 10 years of Conservative Party austerity measures. We've been battered. Hartlepool's industrial landscape is said to have inspired the opening of the 1980s sci-fi film Blade Runner, set in a futuristic 2019. In the real 2019, Hartlepool is coping with decades of decline, the highest unemployment rate in the country, a place where people feel left behind. Three and six, three and six. Five and three, three and three. Preparing for battle. Bingo night at a local social club. Eight and nine, eighty nine. Time for old friends to reminisce. The mines, they've all closed down. And what else have we used to have here? Oh, we used to have a matchbox factory, a tin factory. Many in town blame the EU's state aid policies for the loss of the steel industry. Pat Abbey wants out. We're paying the most money in and getting nothing out of it. Outlier Rita Kelly says people don't know enough about what Brexit will mean, but she still wants the referendum result honoured. We are a democracy and you have to respect that. But having said that, uh, best of a bad job. This port was redeveloped into the marina it is today, in part with European funding. And in recent years, the Northeast has received twice as much EU funding as other parts of England. But few seem to know it or feel it. Full house. Sasha Bedding manages a charity called The Annex in one of Hartlepool's poorest neighbourhoods. I think it's more than just a very simple, they don't like the EU, it's more complicated than that. I just think they were, they felt ignored and they had a chance to actually put a, a marker in the ground and say, actually, I don't want to be ignored anymore. No man is an island or so the poem goes. But if ever there were a place that felt unmoored, it is Hartlepool. Not just from Europe, but from its own government in Westminster. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Hartlepool.